Welcome back my children to another Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery video. So I will be doing another side quest because uh, there's no story spree at the moment and I was thinking about doing Quidditch but since there's this out at the moment, the um, Wizarding Weekend is here. Complete the object objective within the time frame to earn rewards. And the reward is a thousand of the seasonal event uh, token things, whatever you call them. And I have to earn 75 stars to uh, be able to get the reward. There's a day and 20 hours left. So I might be able to get it within two videos potentially. Alright, I have the uh, One Sense Potions and the McGonagall's, hel McGonagall's Helper. And I'll connecting rooms in a Western Tower. That is Western ta West Towers right here. So this one. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do one of the side quests with 10 tasks in them. So submit. Then uh, there's also season events, which uh, started again, and uh, these things are, were, what are they called? Uh, seasonal tokens, right? I'm assuming so. There's a lot more rewards this time. Look at all those rewards. So I have to get a lot of season seasonal tokens, especially this furniture set. I really want to get it. So I want to get the furniture set. Then there's owls. Are you freaking serious? Freaking 2,000 each. I only have one of the the owls, one of the items, so for the event collection. And then there's all these outfits that I would have to get. I kind of want to get this one. This one looks cool. The uh, the bluish one with uh, the like active jacket looking one. And then um, some other ones look kind of cool. Like two more of those. Like this one with the hat right here in the middle. The one all the way to the right. That one. And this one literally looks like one I already have. It looks like... Um, where is it? This one. Just different color. Anyways, uh, I got two new things. I don't remember what it was. Was it this? Or is it the owls? Oh, owls that I could potentially buy. Oh, that looks so cool. Those are... Isn't that like Quidditch rings? When did they add that? I have no idea. But I'll get it at some point. Then I got new furniture items. There's uh, this. There's uh, rugs these pillows and these like curtains and they came from from the uh, spell, spell, spell binding sequences I don't think I'm gonna get the other furniture pieces would be nice to get them but like I don't want to waste 999 for 200 energies so I don't think I'm gonna do that also am I able to feed no I'm not um, it's only bonding for with the rest of them so what is this exclamation mark here? Let's see. Do I have to do anything here? No, okay. The Ministry is thankful for Slytherin's co contribution to magical education and is preparing to send it home. Slytherin seems content right now. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, alright, McGonagall's helper. Kind of forgot. So I have to go to Slytherin house to do, do the cast spelling. Right, um, right here. So let's see who's first. There's this stupid kid that cannot reach his hand to get the wand because he's an idiot. Alright, so that's him. That's it for him, I mean. What else? Um, nothing here. Oh, the sad girl. Okay, I remember this one. Or shoot. Orchidius, or Orchidius, Orchidius, I don't know how you pronounce that to be honest, but he just randomly brings out some roses out of her her robe, and then the stupid girl with the, the teeth, the same girl that does not pick up the books, I, I hate her, alright, what's next, that's it, alright, so, uh, also I want to check, Oh, they added this premium energy boost so the way it works I would would not recommend it to be honest so, um, maybe I guess it's not that expensive it's $30 I guess but um, I don't, I'm not gonna do it to be honest so once you activate this boost one energy will regenerate 
will generate, I mean, will generate every two minutes instead of four minutes. So they really, they really just brought it down two minutes. And then your max energy will increase by 25 for the duration specified in this offer. So specified as in three days. So like right now I have 37 in total. Like that's my max I'm able to get um, for free. The other ones I, I collect and obviously increases over 37. But um, for the 37 it will be plus 25. So technically 50, um, let, me, let me count. I'm literally using my fingers for this. 62 energies in total, the max. So I would be able to use uh, those 62 energies and then um, instead of four, waiting four minutes, it's just two minutes for another energy to regenerate or whatever you call it, generate basically. But um, I don't know, it's not worth it for me in my opinion. I'd rather they they make up um, and um, like um, the, uh, the, what's it called? The um, unlimited energy the one they have for one hour they've done that before which is very useless in my opinion because um if you want to read you're not going to be able to read like if you're doing like um story mode or whatever you're not going to be able to read because you have you want to use up the unlimited energy if they did unlimited energy for 24 hours that would be the best thing ever i would definitely get that but um till then i'm not gonna get any of these special ones like this premium energy boost um yeah i'm definitely not, not gonna do that um okay i want to check the daily deal but it's only coins i, I want to wait for it to become either energy or gems also my pets are asleep then i'm able to collect this bunch of other energies there we go i have a thousand seven hundred sixty one at the moment from the previous video, whatever I had left and whatever um, I have now, I collected all of that on my own. I did not purchase any anything else. Oh, there's some energy there or something. Yeah, that was energy. Okay. This one is coins and that is it. Okay, next one. Chink Clubhouse. There's that and I think that's it. Yeah, I collected the other ones earlier. And for Hippogriff, it's gonna be the um, Kelp Shake, right? Yes. Alright, that is it. So now for the, the side quest, I actually did not think of which one I want to do. I'm gonna go with which uh, whichever creature I have maxed. Did I do this one already? Yes, that one is complete. I could do the Chinese Fireball Dragon, I guess. What else? Uh, the Gnome is done ready. I want to do one of them that uh, I think might be more boring than the other. So I'm going to go with that. With that mindset. Which one I think would be more boring. Like this one I think might be more interesting. The cat one I definitely want to save for one of the last ones. I could go with kelp shake next. One, I, one that I also want to save maybe the dragon ones but then again now that i think about it it might have charlie been my finger in the side quest because he's like obsessed with dragons so i kind of don't want to do that um i mean i don't want to save them for last the dragons but i'm gonna go with kelp Shik first so meet with hagrid lake let's see it's so right here okay it's the only one so i don't get confused so, um, Hagrid is right there. So, um, wait first. I just want to make sure. It does have 10 tasks, right? Even though, like, two of them are gonna... Are, like, just maxing him and whatnot and getting him the uh, Kelp Shake. The Kelpie Whisperer. Join Hagrid and meet the new creature. Yeah, whatever. Alright, right here. Hello, Hagrid. Father, God does he, uh, thanks for coming down to the lake. Even though it took me, like, so long to do that, since this this quest was ready long ago. You said you had a new creature you wanted to show me. 
already have him. That's all right. It's around here somewhere. There he is. I already have him. He's named Kelp Shake. That's what I called him. Because he reminds me of the Kelp Shake from SpongeBob. Because of the color and because of the name. Because his name is originally Kelpie. Wow, a Kelp Shake. Oh, wow, well, well, the one at that. Hardly ever seen such a spirited creature. And I've seen a lot. I'll arrange for you to get a proper introduction. Um, no need to. I already ha have him. Meet the kelp shake. Okay, one hour. Good. So that's going to be less energy. So it's just a kelp shake chilling there. Doing nothing. Alright, look at. Don't try to ride it yet. All they are, all they'll drag you down. I need you. Uh, how about it drags you into the water and eats you? I would prefer that. Consider, a kelp shake would make a wonderful addition to the reserve. I already have him. Observe. Hagrid said this kelp shake is especially spirited. Greet. Hello, hel hello there, kelp shake. Welcome to Hogwarts. Examine. It looks a bit like a horse made of kelp shake. Or kelp, kelp, basically. Discuss. I'd like to try to tame it for its own safety and to keep it from. I don't get to read the rest. Listen, it was donated to Hogwarts after I tried to eat its old owner. Oh, okay. Confer. I hope he eats Hagrid. To be honest, it's all wild, wild. Even I can't, I can't get through it yet. Through it yet? I think that's what I said. Anyways, uh, don't even think think about trying to ride a cup, shake father. Have you get on it? Get on it now. I'll try to eat you. Thanks for the warning. Poor little one. I can help. I can I can help what is in its nature. But right now it's a uh, a bit dangerous to help it around. So why bring me here in the first place? You said its old owner donated it to Hogwarts. Poor guy tried to. Try, try to ride it and uh, almost got drowned and eaten. He donated it, donated it in hopes it'd find a happier home. Calvary's are fairly mur murderous, murderous by nature, you see. They're known for trying to lure travelers into riding them. That's when the, they drag him down to, to a watery grave. Grim, I hope nothing like that happens here. My sentiments exactly, father. That's why I wanted to introduce the two of you. You've got uh, such a nice way with creatures. I was hoping you could try it and form a bond with it. Because when I do so, I get attracted to them. I see. I spirited a spirited kelp shake like this. Like this, I'll make this uh, make a fine addition to the reserve. But it stays like this. Someone like, will get hurt. And we can try to await our teammates. I know they'll be much happier here at Hogwarts. And we don't have to worry about it drowning and eating anyone. Well, we can we, we, I mean, well, we certainly can't have that. Of course I'll help, Hagrid. We, ha we need to make sure this kelp shake is safe and that everyone else is too. Thanks, Father. The, the safe... The faster we can tame the kelp shake, the better. Letting that stay wild, wild, like this is asking for trouble. And uh, who knows, if the two of you become friends, it might be even safe enough to ride. Without they trying to eat you. I mean, don't you think riding on a kelp shake would be fun? I'd get wet, sounds terrifying, yes, it'll be brilliant. Um, yes, I, I don't mind, I would actually like to ride a kelp shake and have him um whatchamacallit swim inside of the water and i get to experience the death the depths of the water and whatnot yes i i think it's it'd be brilliant then let's hope to let's hope you get your wish father i'm a big i'm a bit big <clears throat> i'm a bit I'm a bit big for, for that sort of thing. But if you get a chance to ride that cup shake, I'll be ruining for you from from here. There's there's no shorter way to prove the, that the cup shake is tame when tame than by riding it. 
hope you can do that. We'll know it's, we'll know it's safe. It's safe enough to stay in Hogwarts. Now that I've met this Kelpshake, I suppose the next step is to learn everything I can about them. That's a good idea. Me own Kelpshake knowledge is a bit rusty. We may be missing a trick. Then I'd better be going. I'd better get going. The next time you see me, I'll be a Kelpshake ex expert. Indeed. And I do become an expert since I already have him maxed. So unlock the kelp shake, study kelp kelp shakes. I want you I want you to study kelp shakes with you. Quick, meet me by the, the black lake. I'll meet you later. Unlock the kelp shake. Basta Bas Basket Basketa the know the kelp shake before trying to tame it. Shut up, Hagrid. Alright. Also um thinking about the lake made me re remember they're adding a new reserve which is pretty cool open ocean is open the magical creature reserve has expanded to the open ocean while it is getting it is while it is being prepared for its new residence come check out the location starting now through 21 uh the 21st of may right now is the 18th so just like three more days left find hagrid every day every day to collect special rewards while magical creatures might be finding their their homes here soon not sure. Also, um, I did do that. Um, I've been visiting the uh, reserve, like for I think three days or whatever, and it's right here. It's the last one, open ocean. It doesn't show any creatures yet, but there's Hagrid, and I've clicked on him, and so far he has given energies. I don't know how many because they do not add up. Uh, I did let them know already, and customer service just does the full place. I sent them uh, a message earlier in the day. Oh, they, they replied. Uh, so yeah, this is what I said. I said, uh, good afternoon for the open ocean preparation and clicking on Hagrid every day for a reward. I'm not getting the reward added. It has been energy and it, it is not adding up to what I have. Can I please get the energy I haven't received and fix the problem so we can receive the next rewards as well? Thanks. And by we, I meant like all of us in the game because I'm assuming... It's not only me. Um, yeah, I did that. Let's see what it say. Is this a person? Uh, no, that's, that's automated. Then this one. Hi there, thanks for reaching out. I'll be happy to assist you with your concern. I completely understand your sentiments about the free energy from Hagrid. Yeah, whatever, not going above the energy cap. We've, we've shared our message to the develop te develop development team. Aren't you the freaking development? Your words are, are heard by our development team and go out of language, uh, yeah, whatever. We appreciate your sharing. Uh, hence, since you're a valuable player to us, we'll send, we've sent five extra energy to your game. We'll be... I can understand both the free energy. So it's... um, Wait, uh, so did I actually get to the energy? I did not check. Did it increase? I don't know. Apparently I got five energies... Um, how do I know I've increased? I did not pay attention to the amount I had. We've sent five extra energies to your game. Um, when I tried to collect it earlier, I forgot how much I had. I know it was 17,000 still, I think. Because how much do I have? I have 17, 1740. Um, I did collect some energies from my pets just a while ago, so that added up some. So I must have had like less than 40, 1740, like maybe 1720 something, I'm assuming. So how much energy was it for the clicking on Hagrid every day? It, they don't tell me. Um, okay, I'm not going to ask. How, how many energies in total was it that I received um I didn't I didn't notice if it got added I received I didn't notice if it got added yeah, I'll, I'll just say that. 
there was a one time I sent a message like that. It, it doesn't show anymore. But like um, that person, oh, does it actually show? Is it gonna show? No, this was um, oh, hey, it is December twenty twenty three. Does it show here? Let me see. Read your books. Yeah, uh, this person, um, he actually told me the specific amount and um, the amount of energy I had at that moment, which I like. I, I'm hoping they do that so I know how much I had before and how much I had after they, they sent me the amount of energy. So I'm hoping they do that because I did not notice if uh, any energy got increased or not. But yeah, that was a, a problem I was having with this, the open ocean is open thing, and clicking on Hagrid. But whatever, I'm hoping uh, it actually got fixed already. Alright, so back to the side quest. There it is, it's at the top. Yeah, so getting the kelp shake and, um, and whatever I did with it counted as a task, so that's two already. Now this is the third one, study kelp shakes. Kelp Shake Whisper, yeah, whatever. Join Tonka Car. I mean, join Dora Dark Explorer Dora to read about Kelp Shakes. Why? Why do we have to read about them? And why? Oh, here? Is that a Kelp Shakes? Okay, it is a new place. It's pretty cool. I mean, I've been here before. It's not completely new, but um, very interesting. It's a different location, basically. After a long while. Watch your father? Hello, Dora Dog Dora. Thanks for meeting me. Of course. When I heard that it was served at a, a new kelp shake, I knew I had to get involved. And look who's, who's come to join us. There's the kelp shake over there. He's hungry. I don't mind feeding him, Dora Dog Dora. Kelp shake is here at the, the Black Lake, but how? The waters must connect to the reserve somehow. Well, at least Kelp Shake has plenty of room to roam. But that's all the more reason to tame it as quickly as possible before it tries to drown and eat someone. Hagrid, Hagrid warned me against trying to ride it when, it when it's still wild. Actually, no. Ride it right now. I wouldn't mind. Please ride it. Bit of a shame, really. I think it'd be just brilliant to ride a, a Kelp Shake. Yes, you're right. It'd, it'd be brilliant. I told Hagrid the same thing. Apparently, he thinks riding the kelp shake is the best way to prove that it, it has been successfully tamed. Then let's hope we can tame it quickly. I want to ride it to kelp shake too. I've collected collected every book about about kelp shakes that I could find. There's got to be something in here that could help us. No thanks, uh, Dora the Explorer Dora. Let's start reading and see what we can learn. Also, I want to change this outfit. I'm going to do that. Uh, what should I change it into? Something kelp shaky, maybe. Ooh, maybe something green. Then again, I wore that one already. Oh, no, not that. Also, when did I get this? I'm just realizing it. I know one of them I, I got recently. I don't, don't remember when, but... I don't remember having the other one. Strange. Anyways, anything other... Any other one that's green? This one... Um, it looks very Christmassy. Maybe this one? Also, why does it look like that? You can see my legs through the pants. What color is the kelp shake again? Oh, it's like dark green. Mm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wear... Ooh, what is this? Since when do I have this one? Damn it, I totally forgot when I got this one. It actually looks very cool. Okay, I might keep that one. I want to see if I have, um, if, um, I think it looks better with the dress pants. I just have to find the ones I like better. I think it's these ones, right? Yeah. These are the dress pants I like better. 
I totally forgot when I got this one. I have a feeling I already wore it in the in the in the game. Just don't remember when. All right, I'm gonna give him a let's see a, maybe another necklace will look a little better. Yeah, this one, the tulip flower one. There, all right. Three hours. Learn about cap shakes. So let's see. Call out. Hello, kelp shake. Have you have you come to help us? Learn. Kelp shakes are shape shape shifting water demons that can take many forms, potentially women. That would lure a bunch of men to the kelp shakes, and they would get eaten very easily. Examine. It's brimming brimming with fascinating kelp shake facts. Chat. The largest known kelp shake is the the Loch Ness ma Monster. Read. It says that the most effective way to tame a kelp shake is by placing a bridle on it. Bridle? The heck? Discuss. Strands of kelp shake hair can be used as as one course. Fascinating. L listen. Look, it says here that you can tame a kelp shake by placing a bridle on it. What is a bridle? It kind of makes me think of wedding. Like a wedding. Watch. Behind that adorable face lies a murderous nature. I respect that. Reserve. I mean, observe. It might look gentle, but I wouldn't want to underestimate it. Study. Kelp chicks usually form, choose the form of a horse with a bulrush mane. Bulrush mane. Call out. Hello, kelp chick. Can Have you come to help us? Examine. It's brimming with fascinating kelp chick facts. Chat. The largest known kelp shake is the Loch Ness Monster. Read. Okay, uh, is this the same thing? Is this? Yeah, same thing. Resolve, and that is it. We've got to help find out how to tame a kelp shake. I think we've got it. Did you see the, the same fact I did, Father? What's the most effective way to tame a kelp shake? Whisper to it, put a bridle on it, put a saddle on it. I'm gonna go with the wrong answer, of course. I'm gonna go with put a saddle on it. Was it that you have to put a saddle on the kelp shake? Um, not exactly, father. Hmm. I was talking about the fact that you can tame a kelp shake by putting a bridle over his head. <laughs> if we can place a bridle on the kelp shake, we'll render it ha harmless, and it won't try to drown anyone. Um, then we need to find ourselves a bridle, or make one. What is a freaking bridle? Make one? Why not? This this is a special creature. It should have a special bridle, too. And I know someone who has a gift for making things that are both stylish and functional. Oh, great. Andre doesn't. Screw him. I guess I have to deal with Andre doesn't now. Study cup shakes is done. Fashion a bridle. Hurry and meet me. Meet me so we can complete the kelp shakes bridle. Bridle makes me think that it's gonna be the those like little head piece things that women wear and their wedding. Is that what it's gonna be? Cause it sounds very ridiculous. For full earn full stars two times. Okay, that I did that. Earn seventy five points of any attribute. Um I'm completing it. I'm still doing that. And do it one time, okay. I want to get these seasonal tokens, or whatever you call them. Fashion or bridal. Alright, there's a kelp shake. And there's already a thousand. Also, why are we doing everything here? At this location. I mean, I don't mind, of course. I wish I had the option to push him into the water and the kelp shake eats him. There's my favorite curse breaker. Good to see you again. Hello, Andre Dawson. Thanks for me. No thanks for meeting me and agreeing to help. You know me. I can't down a. I can't turn down a di design challenge, especially if it's for a magical creature. Also, why does it look like he's wearing blush? That's very gay. The prospect of creating a bridle that could tame a, a kelp shake was to pass was too good to pass up. Were you able to make a bridle for kelp shake? Almost. I've nearly finished one 
that is both stylish and function functional. It will be sturdy enough to withstand the Kalpshik's power and fashionable enough to hold up against any trend. We weren't want we weren't want our Kalpshik bridle to go out of style. Exactly, but there's one issue. I need to be sure that the bridle is fitted properly to ensure maximum comfort for both Kalpshik and rider. But I won't be able to finish the bridle until I get a closer look at Kelp a, a closer look at Kalpshik. Oh, hey, they actually have the Kalpshik name. Because that's the name of my Kalpshik. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. I wouldn't want I wouldn't want the, the the poor creature to be uncomfortable in an ill feeling fitting bridle. Perhaps I can I could call Kelpshake over here so you can take its measurements. Huh. Sounds perfect. Also the previous creature um side quest I did um I'm trying I'm trying to remember. Um what was it again? I think it was the horse. Uh, stop horsing around. Was it him? Who was it? I think it was stop horsing around. Um, the, the, the original name is Abrixen, but not once do I remember the text saying stop horsing around as the nickname I gave it, or the name I gave gave it to my, my Abra, Abra, Abrixen, or whatever you call it. So I'm kind of surprised that they're putting my my own name into the text. You aren't worried that Kelp Shake will try to eat you? Ha. Style is always, always risky, Curse Breaker, and I'll, I'll have you to protect me. Yeah, I'm not gonna protect you at all. Hero Kelp Shake. Please eat him. Just bite him down, I don't care. My, you do have a way with creatures, father. Kelp Shake and I are tr starting to get to know each other. But we should make this quick. I'll keep it occupied while you take Kelp Shake's measurements. And be careful, this kelp shake is still wild. Look, look, measure, but don't touch. Please touch by accident and get eaten. Oh my goodness, eight hours for this. Get the kelp shake's measurements. That is such a waste of energy. Oh, uh, there. I mean, aren't you supposed to touch them a little bit with the ruler at least, just to get the measures right? I really wish there was an option that said push. They should do that. Just for fun, they should have like little options that says certain things that kill the one a certain character, but then they just uh restart the uh the task right away. Cuz obviously they're not going to leave it permanently. Like you cannot kill them permanently. They should do that for fun. Like just have an option at the top, like says push, you push him, like I would push him right now, he gets eaten by kelp shake, and then uh, the, the task starts over again, kind of like a respawn, I guess, that would be very interesting, I would love that option, anyways, plan, if kelp shake gets agitated, we'll have to stop right away, consider, we'd better make this quick, being this close to the kelp shake is a bit risky, praise, you're being so good, Kelpshake. Request. Don't drag us down to a watery grave, alright? Maybe for Kelp, um, Andre doesn't, yes. Remark. It's still quite wild, but the two of us are making progress. Look around. It looks like Andre doesn't is making progress. Plan. If Kelpshake gets agitated, we'll have to stop right away. Consider. We'd better, we better make this quick. Being this close to the Kelpshake is a bit risky. Here. When I'm through, you'll be the most fashionable cap shake around. Check in. A few more moments, and I'll be f satisfied. Chat. What a handsome creature that this is. Discuss. You weren't lying. I can sense this cap shake's wild spirit. It's inspiring. Look around. Okay, um, same thing. Plan. Consider. That one is five. Praise. You're being so good, cap shake. Request, remark, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, same thing. Look around, plan, consider, praise, request, 
And that is it. Don't drag us down to a watery grave, alright? Or I will punch you. Well, Andre doesn't. You could eat him. I don't mind. Okay, so now what? He just went to that side for a moment and then came back. There, I've done it! I finished the bridle! Also, is it brittle or bridle? Oh, that's a bridle or a brittle, whatever you call it. Brittle. I think it's called brittle, actually. I think I've been mispronouncing it. I don't think it's bridle. But whatever. Here, take a look, father. What do you think about the new brittle? I love it, not my style. Um... To be honest, I, I don't care about his feelings, so I'm gonna go with that. I guess what I, that will do, but it's not really my style, because you suck. You're quite a harsh critic, father. But cons consider this, it's not your style that matters the most here, it's the kelp shakes. That's why I used a spe specific material to em emulate the kelp shakes bulrush mane. Whatever, how do you say that? I see, that should work well enough. I won't be the one wearing it, after all. Here, why don't you try to put the, the brittle brittle on a kelp shake? Thanks, Andre doesn't. Why am I putting it inside my the back of my pants, I think? If this works, we can ensure that the kelp shake is safe and happy at Hogwarts. Alright, here goes. So now I take it out again. That makes no sense. I should have just kept it in my hands. Oh, he ran away. I guess he doesn't like it. Kelp shake, where are you going? I guess the, the brittle wasn't kelp shake style after all. I don't think style has the pro was the problem. Andre doesn't. I should have know known it. Sh I should have known known. Oh my goodness! I should have known it wa wouldn't be easy to brittle a kelp shake. Nothing worthwhile ever is. Thanks again. No thanks again for your help, Andre doesn't. No problem at all. At all. Curse breaker, I'm always happy to help out in a fashion emergency. I should go talk to Aunt, to Hagrid about this. He may know something that could help. He's usually useless, so I don't know. Bond with the kelp shake done. Talk to Hagrid. I'm with the kelp shake right now. Come, come see us while the sun's still out. Okay, then bond with the kelp shake. Strengthen your bond with the kelp shake before it causes any trouble. I already did that, so that counts as, a, as another task, so I'm on the sixth one now. The bonding with the kelp shake counts as a task. Alright, so next is talk to Hagrid. So there he is with the kelp shake. With my kelp shake, that is. Father, how are things going with the kelp shake? We're making progress. I've been strength, strength, and I've been strengthening, strength, strength, strengthening, strengthening. Okay, I've been strengthening my bond with kelp shake, and we learned that the most effective way to tame a kelp shake is with a bridle, a brittle. I mean, a brittle, of course. Why did I not think of that? But there's a problem. We can't get, we can't seem to get the kelp shake to wear, actually wear it. I see. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't try to force someone like that on kelp shake. Could be dangerous. I know. I'm not sure what to do next. I was hoping you'd have some advice, since uh, uh, for some reason, even though you're usually useless, I've always got advice for a friend home, friend of magical creatures. Let's put our heads together. Literally, I would love that. Perhaps there's some that some that we haven't considered yet. Please don't put your head next to mine. One hour. Ask Hagrid for advice. One hour. It would be freaking hilarious if they actually put their heads together. But it would be kind of weird at the same time. I will kill Hagrid. Alright. I guess not. Resolve. Whatever we do, it ought to be what's best for the kelp shake. Examine. Keep kelp shake. Ready for mischief as always. Observe. I can tell you, you've been taking good care of Kelp Shake. Wonder. 
Who else? Who else do we know? Who has a kelp shack? Um, doesn't Hogwarts uh, have one like inside the building? Um, what's it called again? The um, Hippogriff Club. There we go. Think. All I need, all I need is a new lead. Hopefully, Hagrid can help me think of one. Listen, I remember. I think I remember a kelp shack in one of the Hogwarts clubhouses. I literally just said that, you idiot. Consider. Hagrid says his own kelp shake experience is limited, but then then again, so is mine. Confer. Maybe there's some someone with more kelp shake experience. Yeah, you can ask. Of course, I knew he was useless. Talk. And that is it. There's that first kelp shake at the reserve. But wasn't there another one somewhere? Yes, I know nowhere already. It might help to ask someone. Who's got more experience with cop chicks than us two? I seem to remember there, there being another cop chick somewhere else in Hogwarts. There might be a cop chick in one of the, the house clubs, but which one? Which club is all about magical creatures? I'm gonna choose the wrong one, of course, the Dragon Club. Hmm, could it be the Dragon Club? I don't think so. The Dragon Club is more about flying and dueling and such. F f freaking no, so just say the damn answer if you already know. Oh, there, he remembered. I guess he's old. Ah, now I remember. It was the Hippogriff Club. Hippogriff Club. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's a kelp shake in the Hippogriff Club. Does it? Does it, father? I know y'all get it. <laughs> I purposely did it wrong, but I already knew. Maybe there's someone in the Hippogriff Club who could help us. Worth a, worth a try. Have you been keeping a, keeping a cup shake this whole time? If they've been, they've been keeping a cup shake this this whole time, they might know how to, to get a brittle brittle on it. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. I'm actually a member of the Hippogriff Club. You are. Then you just like have have no problem getting in. Good luck, father. Best hurry though. This cabbage is pretty. It's still pretty wild. Then I'd better get going. I need to find out how to get a brittle on this cup shake. Without getting yourself eaten, that is. Also, why why is it always me that has to do everything with the, the creatures and bonding with them, whatever? Can he do it? Go to the Hippogriff Club. Everyone's waiting at the Hippogriff Club. Quick, come and meet us. Sure, why not, I guess. I have to go to the Hippogriff Club. So, um, let's see. There's the Kelp Shake. Oh, there's one cent. Yes. I forgot she's part of the Hippogriff Club. Alright, cool. I'm hoping she has a lot of text. Watch her, father. Hello, everyone. Thanks for meeting me. Um, only one cent, not the other two. Hello, everyone. Thanks for... Uh, Letting me into your house, your clubhouse, even though I'm part of it. <laughs> of course, you said that it, this was to help a magical creature. A magic and helping magical creature is one of the the core ten tenets of the Hippogriff Club. That in trying out one sense experimental potions. Hmm. Everyone here is eager to help, Father. One sense even dug up the Hippogriff. Hippogriff Club's old records. Great. Maybe we can find a clue that could help us find a... Help us place a brittle on on my kelp shake. Kelp shake. That way we can entrust that it'll be safe and happy at Hogwarts. Mm. And it won't... It won't try to eat anyone either. And it won't try to eat anyone either. Is what I meant to say. There's... There's so much to help. To love about kelp shakes, their strength, their abilities, their murderous state, their mur murderous nature. I could talk about kelp shakes all day. What do you think, Father? What do you admire most about kelp shakes? Their strong spirits, their unique abilities, their murderous natures. Um, I want to go with murderous natures, but uh, that's agreeing with. Door, door, Exploradora. 
and I want to agree with one cent, so I'm going to go with their unique abilities. But I kind of want to choose the other one, actually. Um, I don't know, it just sounds more sinister, obviously. Should I go with that one? Unique abilities, there's strong spirits. Oh, this time I'm I'm not gonna go with with one cent. I think that I admire what I admire most about kelp shakes are their murderous natures. Really, really. I totally agree, Father. You have to respect a creature that knows what it wants. If even if if it even if it if it wants to lure people to a watery grave. Hopefully, we can soften. Soften that part a bit with our brittle, but I still admire Kelpshake's mox moxie moxie. Is that already what is that supposed to be? Thank you for sharing, Father. Knowing why we love magical creatures is important to understanding our relationships with them. There's Kelpshake. Please eat Barney. He's literally right there. This Kelpshake seems quite gentle compared to Kelpshake. It's been here as long as anyone can... Oh, no, wait, that's Barney. It's been here as long as anyone can remember. And I normally can't remember, so I don't remember. Because I'm stupid. We, sus we suspect that that's because it's been tame for so long. It doesn't even need a, a brittle anymore. Perhaps the same will be true. Will be true of kelp shake, kelp shake one day. Perhaps, but for now, we need to figure out how to place a brittle on kelp shake safely. <laughs> then I start digging into the club records and see what we can find out. Yes, indeed. Oh, come on, eight hours again? Study hip hippogriff club records. Freaking so much energy just for this. Why is Bar Barney dancing? To the cup shake, it looks very weird. He's dancing like an idiot. All right, um, I'm gonna go with myself first. Search. There's got to be a clue in these records about how to put a brittle on a cup shake. Read. These records mentioned the placement charm being useful in taming the cup shake. Okay, here. Does anyone know that what the the placement charm is? I keep seeing it mentioned. Look around. It's quite a fine clubhouse. It's good to be a member of the Hippogriff Club. Okay. Confer. Notes for, for Sus and Herbology. No thanks. Not today. Right. I'm going to click on Barney. Chat. I only met this Barney. I mean this Kalpshig after I'd already. Damn it. I didn't get to read the whole thing. Over here. How did they put a brittle on you, Kelpshake? Did they use magic? Also, he's doing the shuffle now. Looks very funny. I'll check in. I'm finding a lot of great tips for making potions. Discuss. It seems that a magical charm is needed to put a brittle on, on a Kelpshake safely. Resolve. We need to learn how this Kelpshake was originally tamed. Observe. It's been tame for so long, it doesn't need a brittle any anymore. Listen. This says that club members put a brittle on the cup shake with a magical charm. Search. There's got to be a clue in these records about how to put a brittle on a cup shake. Read. These records mention the placement charm being useful and taming the cup shake. Look around. It's quite a fine clubhouse. It's good to be a member of the Hippogriff Club. Chat. I only met this kelp shake after, after I'd already been in the Hippogri Hippogriff Club for a while. Is that what I said, I think? Over here. How did they put a brittle on you, kelp shake? Did they use magic? Check in. Same thing. Discuss. Resolve. Observe. Listen. Is that it? Yes, it is. This is that the club members put a brittle on the cup shake with a magical charm. According to these records, Hippogriff club members used a special charm to 
Jupiter the Cup Shake. Hang on, I found a record that mentions the placement charm in relation to the Cup Shake. You think that Hippogriff Club members use the placement charm to put the brittle on the kelp shake? Hmm. No. We haven't learned the placement charm yet, but it sounds like like just the, the spell we need. But where could you learn a spell like learn a spell like that? The Shinx Club? In this case I think I'll go right to the source. If anyone at Hogwarts knows the placement charm, it's our charms teacher, Professor Flitwick. That's what I was thinking. So I guess I have to go to Flitwick now. Learn the place placement charm. I'll be glad to teach you the charm, but please hurry. I have class soon. Okay, I guess I could learn it in a very short time. Learn the placement charm. Also, the, is the placement charm just placing things on things? Is that what it is? So, there he is. Hello, Professor Flitwick. Hello there, Mr. Atkins. I heard you were interested in learning a very special charm. Yes, I want to learn the placement charm so I could use it to place a brittle on a kelp shake. This will allow us to tame it and make sure it's safe to stay at Hogwarts. Your adventures are as fascinating as ever, Mr. Atkins. The placement charm is one of my favorites. I'd be glad to teach it to you. I'd be glad to teach it to you. Thanks, Professor. I appreciate it. And I think Kelpshik will, too. Splendid. Now watch closely. It's a re relatively simple charm, but you must be precise to get it right. Okay. Three hours. Learn the placement charm. Obviously, I have to. Consider. The placement charm might just be the key to taming the kelp shake. Also, I'm just looking for anything hidden, potentially. Learn. And charms, and life too, I, I suppose. Precision, dedication, and focus are key. Heed. Focus on your target. Place. Always focus. Listen. Remember to follow my movements as precisely as possible. Chat. Give kelp shake my regard, regards when you see it next. Practice motions. Is this right? Watch. Let me show you how it's done. I don't see you doing anything. Discuss. Picture the br brittle floating to the kelp shake in your mind, and it will be, it will be on. I think that's what I said. Learn. And charms and life too, I suppose. Precision, dedication, and focus are key. Heed. Focus on your target. Always focus. Think. Kelp shake will be a whole new kelp shake once it's brittled. Remark. Professor Flitwick makes any special, I mean any spell, look easy. Comment. It's trickier than it looks, but it, but that's true with many charms. Consider. The placement charm might just be the key to taming the, the kelp shake. Practice motions. Is this right? Watch. Ooh, watch me, watch me, ooh, watch me. Let me show you how it's done. He's gonna start whipping and neighing himself. I think I'm starting to get it. I agree, Mr. Atkins. I think you're ready I think you're ready to try to try casting the placement charm on your cap shake. No thanks, Professor. With this we're closer than ever to taming cup shake. And not a moment too soon. Before you go, let me ask you something, Mr. Atkins. What's driving you to tame Kelpshake? I want you to help the Kelpshake. I want you to help Hagrid. I want you to ride it. Uh, <laughs> yes, the most dangerous thing. Honestly, I just want you to ride the Kelpshake. I think it would be brilliant and so much fun. Riding a Kelpshake could be quite a thrill indeed. If your attempts to tame it are successful, perhaps you'll get your wish. I wish you luck... I wish you luck in your efforts, Mr. Atkins. But remember, placing the brittle on the cup shake is only part of what of what you'll need to truly tame it. Only a powerful bond of friendship with kelp shake will ensure your success. I think kelp shake and I have th that well in hand. We've gr grown quite close. 
good for you, Mr. Atkins. Then I suppose there's nothing left but the big moment. Let me know when you plan to place the brittle and tame the, the Kelpshake. It should be quite the spectac spectacle. Quite the spectacle. Okay, so when I place it, I'm assuming he's going to be there, potentially. Stre strengthen your bond with Kelpshake. So that counts as a task. Alright, tame the Kelp the, the kelp Shake. It's time to tame the Kelp Shake. Come quick, everyone's here. Is that it? Okay, strengthen your bond with Kelp Shake. Bond your, bond with your Kelp Shake now, before it eats someone. Uh, how, how about it eats you? I would prefer that. Okay, so yes, this is task 10 out of 10. So this is the last task. So basically, out of the 10, three of them were done automatically because um, one was for bonding with them, one was for oh, one was for getting the kelp shake, one was for bonding with it, and one was for uh, strength strengthening the bond or whatever. So that counts as three tasks. So basically, I only did I'm only doing seven with the energies and whatnot. So there's uh everyone there's um. Flitwick, Barney, Dora Ducks Bradora, Andre Dawson, and One Cent. The best one out of all. I'll start off with Andre Dawson. Kelpshik! Kelpshik will love its new brittle! I'm sure of it! Then, um, Dora Ducks Bradora. Good luck, Father! Try not to get eaten! And Flitwick. Have you performed the charm just as we practice? I'm confident you will succeed. Yes, okay. Also, uh, before I continue, I just want to check. Only 30. So with this one, it's going to be 35. And I am going to need 30 more, I believe. So maybe um, tomorrow, most likely, because I have a day 19 hours left. I'll do another side quest that has 10 tasks. I think that should work. I mean, unless they uh, they have a story spree, then I'll do that instead. Or maybe I could do Quidditch. I'll think about it. Hello, Father. Hello, Hagrid. Everyone's here. Everyone, everyone's here. Everyone here is excited to see your team, the Kelp Shake. It's been a long time coming, but I think we'll, we're finally ready. If I can place a brittle on Kelp Shake, we'll know that it'll, it will be happy and safe here at Hogwarts. However, if it doesn't work, Kelp Shake might end up trying to eat me. Professor Flitwick and I are here, Father. We want to let it eat you. Well, we'll try to our best not to let it eat you, at least. Uh, thanks. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. I hope he actually eats you instead. How do you feel about your your chances of success in taming Cupshake? Quite confident, uh, cautiously optimistic. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'll, that'll be so funny. Um, obviously, I'm not scared at all, but um, I think it would be funny saying I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's funny. I've done everything possible to prepare for me when a kelp shake eats me. Wait, what? Wait, let me see. I've done everything possible to prepare for when a kelp shake eats me. Oh, okay, yes. I'm sure that won't happen, Father. Fairly certain. At any, <clears throat> at any rate, you're well prepared for this. Well prepared for this. You've got a strong friendship with a cupshake, and a sturdy, bright brittle too. You even learned a new charm to place your brittle on cupshake safely. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I suppose all that that's left is tr to try to place the brittle on cupshake. So there, I'm gonna place it. Have you ever seen I'm getting a brittle on cap shake? We'll be in good shape. If it's fully tamed, it might even tr let you take it for a ride. Brilliant, I can't wait. Kelp shake and I, I are going to have so much fun. It'll be a sight to see. We'll be ruined for you from the shore. So there's a brittle. I randomly took it out of my my back. I sure hope this works. Place charm. I mean placement charm. So it's kind of like an S. Sideways S or tilted S. Oh, the brittle is to place it in the mouth. Oh, okay. 
now I get it. It's like the, the those things they put on the dogs, like vicious dogs, so that they won't bite you or try to kill you or whatever. Now I know. If that's a brittle. I thought it was gonna act. It was gonna be placed on like its neck or back or something like that. I had no clue it was for its mouth. How did I not think of that? I don't know. Anyways, um, it still makes me think of like something a a a, a woman would wear in in her wedding, because uh, the brittle kind of sounds like bride. Anyways, it worked. Come on, Kelpshake, let's go for a ride. So um, I'm gonna ride it now. <laughs> yeah, it's the little the thing the the mouthpiece on basically. So there, I rode the the the, the cup shake. Oh, I still had to. Oh, wow, seriously, eight hours for this could have been at least like an hour or three hours for less energy. Right, ride, ride the kelp shake. Great. So there, I am riding the kelp shake in a non-sexual way. Here, not nice work, father. Get him to kelp shake. Regard. Thank goodness father didn't get eaten. But I hope it eats me. I wonder what it feels like to be eaten. Appreciate. The placement charm worked. The kelp shake is tame and safe to be around. Hold on. I'd better hold on tight. We'd, we're going so fast. It's like I'm on a broom. Thank. Thanks for letting me ride you, kelp shake. Heed. Try not to stir up the, the giant squid while you're out there. Uh, over here. Ah, to be young. I mean, you're not that old. You could ride the kelp shake yourself. Attend. What a thrilling sight. Uh, ride. I can hardly believe it. I'm really riding a kelp shake. Observe. Where'd you go, father? Listen. Go, father! Note. That does look fun, but you... Go right on ahead while I watch from... I don't know what I said. Uh, Jihaw. Yeehaw! Uh, no, actually, I could have done it more cowboy-like. cowboy, cowboy -like. Yeehaw! I can't really do it, to be honest. Notice. <clears throat> the brittle the brittle looks absolutely amazing on kelp shake. Eavesdrop. Where's my broom? I want to get get in on, a, on the action. Um, I don't know. Go bring it, I guess. Here. Nice work, father! Your time dot cup check. Appreciate. The placement charm worked. The cap the cap check is tame and safe to be around. Hold on. I'd better hold on tight. Okay, same thing. I think. Consider. Can I go next, please? Pretty please? Yes, please. Go next and get eaten. Over here. Ah, ah, to be young. Attend. Okay, uh, ride. Observe. Listen. Regard. Um, what else? Note. But you go right on ahead while I watch from here. Okay, there, I read it properly. Notice. Same thing, eavesdrop. Appreciate. Jiha. Hold on. Thank. Over here, attend, and that is it. What a thrilling sight! So there, I'm done. So there, I'm riding it. It would be nice if he took me like it deep in the water, like a submarine. That was really something. Yeah, that is water. Yeah, time to cup check, and even took it for a ride. Also, I, I, I do not look wet. No thanks, Hagrid. I couldn't have done it without everyone's help. You guys barely helped. One sent it did, but just the rest of you didn't. Yes, I died riding a cup shake. A cup shake to be brilliant before. Now that you're riding it for real, was riding the cup shake that what you expected it to be, father? It was terrifying, it was brilliant, it was wet. Um, I don't really look wet. Also, I, I'm not terrified. Yeah, so it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. Perhaps even more brilliant than I originally thought. What a thrill. What a thrill. 
like Thriller by Michael Jackson. It had so much. I had so much fun, and I know Kelp Shake did too. And made me glad you to see the two of you out there enjoying yourselves. Kelp Shake is fully tamed. Now that it's tamed, we won't have to worry about Kelp Shake trying to eat anyone anymore. I can relax knowing that I'd be happy and safe to be around. It still has quite a spirited nature too. No brittle could take that away. Our creatures got to be true to itself, just like people. And thanks to you, thanks to your efforts, you've got one magical creature with a loving home here at Hogwarts. Helping others. So there, that is done. Quest complete. The Kelp Shake Whisperer. 500 XP and 200 uh, friendship XP for Hagrid. So he's level 5. I'm slowly getting him maxed. Anyways, um... What now? That is it, I guess. I still have to get more attribute points. So, Black Lake is pretty cool. I'm gonna click on this uh, thing right here. It doesn't add up, unfortunately. The uh, energy around the school does not add up. I wish it did. What is this? Are they ready? Did it come back yet? No. Let me see. Dormitory. Any energies? Oh, uh, Tom Gatto. That is it. Let's see. I'm just checking if there's any other other energy ready by any chance. It has been a few minutes, so I'll never know. Yeah, nothing, I guess. So that is it. Um, I do want to get the thousand, the thousand um seasonal tokens or whatever you call them. So I'm definitely gonna do another video tomorrow most likely or maybe even later but most likely tomorrow because i have 35 out of 75 i need 30 more no wait that's 65 oh no wait so i need more than 35 another 35 that's going to be 70 and i would need five more so how much do i need let's see it's five five stars per task so, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, 30, 35, that's 70, 5, so I need 8 tasks, right? Wait, let me, let me count again, 5, okay, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, do I need 40? Because 4... Yeah, I need 40. So, yeah, 8 tasks. So, it would be perfect if tomorrow there's a, a story spree. Hopefully, like, 30% or so or more. Because the uh, story... The uh, chapter 8 of year 5 has 8 tasks. That is perfect. Or in the two lessons, that counts as... Tasks as, with uh, 5 stars as well. So, that's basically... 40, 50 instead. So yeah, um, I'm hoping there's a story spree. There's this uh, food I could collect right now. There's these outfits, but I kind of don't want to get them. Plus it's 400 gems. Uh, oh, I, I, I unlocked all the magical milestones. There's 13 days and 5 hours. At least the free ones. So I'm going to collect them uh, when I need energy. Within those 13 days and 5 hours. So not now. Also, one cent, one cent potions. Another two, 22 minutes. So I have to wait a little more. And for this one, 58, 56 minutes. Also, I have collect stars. Let's see. Oh, wow, only two. That is uh, five red books and 50 energies. Cool. Um, I kind of want to get the outfit. Actually, no, I don't care. I don't like it that much. I don't like it at all, actually. But the 100 energies will be nice. There's 19, 19 hours left and 20 minutes, so I might be able to get the 100 energies. I'll have to see. But yeah, that is it for now. So if if there's no story spree by tomorrow, um, then I'll, I might do another side quest. I'm going to try to look for a side quest that actually 
has um, the complete tasks. It doesn't have to do with having to, um, like the, um, getting the creature, bonding with the creature, and strengthening the bond with the creature, because that takes away three tasks. I need one that has full amount of tasks. I don't know which one. Oh, maybe this one, since this one is not a creature. I'm assuming puppy dog tails. One that is that is not a creature, of course. Um, I'm assuming the pup one. What else is not a creature? Um, yes, all of them are creatures except this one. But this one only has six tasks, and then um, this puppy one. I'm hoping that's um just getting the the dog, which I already have, the pet. I don't really have to bond with the pet or anything, so I don't think that's gonna take away a task or anything. Um, what was I gonna think? I was thinking about something. I saw something. It made me think of doing something, but I already forgot. What did I want to check? I wanted to check something. Oh, now that I remember, I did get a new creature. I adopted him. Uh, he cost less because he was on sale. I named him Purple Eyes Bat Dragon because he has purple eyes and he looks like a bat. So Purple Eyes Bat Dragon. So he's my newest creature. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. I have nothing else. I I think I, I had something in mind while I was looking at the side quests. Oh, right, right, Quidditch. I wanted to check Quidditch. Quidditch only has six tasks. So yeah, I, not that one. It's going to be either a side quest or if there's a story spree, it's most likely going to be uh, chapter 8 of year 5 for the next video. But uh, I'll see. Anyways, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down what you guys think. Also, check out the video in the playlist above. And I'll see you guys in the next video.